G'day guys, Ben here from Solar and Sat, and today in the workshop we have a nice little 16 foot zone RV. They have 440 watts of solar on the roof and they were actually told they couldn't fit any more up there. Now of course, we managed to squeeze more up there anyway. Let's take a look and I'll show you how. Now I'm sure you guys are used to us saying how bad the factory solar system has been fitted. Not the case in this situation. The zone factory solar array was actually fitted to spec. The panels had airflow under them. It was giving these flexies the best chance that they could get. But being flexible solar panels, obviously their performance is not as good as glass to begin with. Now flexi solar panels tend to suffer from heat and they do underperform for their rating already. And the other thing is, of course, 440 watts by today's standards, not a whole lot of solar. So we've ripped that all off. And what we've done is we've put four of our Chevy glass panels on there. So we've done two 200s, two 130s, and being that they are voltage matched, it's allowed us to mix and mash it, do a two series, two parallel configuration, and that's allowed the customer to get 660 watts of solar on the roof, utilizing their factory cable run, so they don't have any new penetrations through there. And then we swapped over their solar charge controller with a nice Victron MPPT for increased performance. And what that's done is they've gone from 440 watts to 660 watts, but the big difference is actually even in the amps they're receiving. So they were getting 20 to 25 amps into their battery beforehand with the Flexies. They've gone up to 45 to nearly 50 amps going in with their 660 watt glass array. So 50% more solar, but nearly 100% more charge speed. A substantial upgrade for sure, just by switching to a more efficient array that can stay cooler and obviously having a more efficient solar controller down there. So the customer's gained 25 to maybe 30 kilos of weight all up, but they've got a far, far faster charging system. It's all well and good to be light, but if you're not getting enough charge to actually stay off grid, well, that's a problem as well. So even when you think you can't fit more solar on your roof or you think you've maxed out your charging system as is and there's nothing you can do to improve on, give us a yell because you'd be surprised at sometimes what we can achieve with what you have or by replacing a couple of components, moving some things around. Come see us at Solar and Sat and we'll get you powered up.